Hello and welcome back to Period and Galactic Survival. My name is Sponge. Welcome to version 1.10 and this beginner's tutorial let's play. Now, last episode we were taking on this POI, this old monstrosity of a POI. And in the end, there's a teleporter. It takes us to another POI. And we were just about to step through that. So let's go. And here we are. Welcome to part two of or is it part three i don't know but we've been teleported to the other side of the planet from where we were we were down here actually actually we're just up north a bit we were down here we're now up here uh so this floating poi here is um the old monstrosity but here we go we get through this to complete the mission uh main access switch and pull it to release the information all right sweet nothing can go wrong there Oh, we got some turrets. Yeah, I should have really reloaded my uh, sniper ammunition before I left, but uh, I want to pretend that there was no time and we just went straight into the teleporter. Exactly what happened. So our trusty little pulse rifle here will probably serve us fine. Why did that thing take two freaking clips? We weren't even hitting that to start off with. All right. There we go. We can just keep crouching behind this thing. And everything will be all right. Ow. Dying here would be a really bad idea. Where'd that other robot go? <sighs> We're eating through the health packs here, aren't we? Holy Christ. Far oh, board of this. Right. F you guys for hiding behind things, honestly. Done with you. Get rid of the spawners. Good, stop them from respawning. There we go. Alright. <sighs> have to tank it, I'm afraid. Okay, level one, I think here, cleared. So now, we can go up. There's a sentry gun right there. There we go, we've got the sentry gun though. Lots of generators and stuff up here. More sentry guns. Some loot containers down there and more sentry guns. All right. See if we can get something from these. I mean, I'm in, in my skivvies here, so I don't think I can take the whole lot, but... Maybe we can take the whole lot. <laughs> You're kidding me. You can shoot me through anything. Right, down at the end of this um, particular section here, the, the upper section here is, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, a very nice loot container I mean there's ammo containers here as well oh and that's that's actually ammo I can use as well <laughs> quite lucky this guy right here okay it's given us an epic pistol <laughs> you really may as well have just just urinated on me quite frankly <laughs> wow <laughs> good 
Um, but you know, you may get you get you may get more lucky. All right, you may get something actually worth holy crap, uh, worthwhile. You know, <sighs> so it's worth a uh, worth a little trip up just to check it out. Turret for what's a level four, and suddenly they just stop taking damage. Look at that! I'm freaking hitting him. His health bar isn't going down. They can shoot through things. I can't. Am I? Am I hitting him or not? What the hell is going on? Ah, oh, this is just this is infuriating. And unloading clip after magazine after magazine after magazine into these suckers, and they're not taking any damage. I, I'm just hitting like hitboxes and not it. This is this is a my real gripe with this game right now is look at I mean just look at that. He's shooting through that block. He is shooting through that block. I am almost out of meds because of this BS. Gun bang to right, and I need to reload. Hey, he's barely taking any damage at all. He's not taking any damage. Oh my god, just get down here. Sucks. Alian! Fix your damn hitboxes! See, that works. That worked. That's what I want. Why can't I have that with everything? All of them. That. Clearly asking too much. <laughs> Oof. The thing is, like, the problem is when the margins are so narrow that one move could you can end up dead. Being uh, denied because of hitboxes or just, like, you know, a lack of attention to detail in the game just really... Takes the wind out of your sails, you know. I wonder how many people have quit the game or refunded it because, you know, they were shooting a bot for an hour <laughs> and it wasn't dying because actually they were hitting an indestructible hitbox. Now, you do get this kind of, oh, you cannot damage the target with this weapon. Switch to a different weapon mode by, or whatever at the top there. But when, when do you get that, like, every two minutes? Because you're shooting a shotgun. And uh, the the bullet spread is real, you know? You tend to ignore it. <laughs> but I do, anyway. Yeah, and if you are perfectly aimed on an enemy and it's saying that, well, that actually... What the hell? It's an enemy. We'll be able to kill it. Right, anyway, okay, we're here. We have flipped it. There we go, we've flipped it. And uh, now we need to get the hell out of here. And I can't get over the lip of that freaking thing. All right. I'm glad you are here, Alex. <laughs> oh, holy, oh my god, is that Alex? Oh my, yeah, the reason we get out is because the damn thing explodes. Here we go. Get out. <laughs> and there we go, we're back. Right. Well. So we've just heard from someone called Alex. Apparently, they were um, a friend before this whole thing went off. And so we're quite excited about hearing from Alex, apparently. And uh, yeah, we, we're going to try and make all efforts to go and meet up with Alex as soon as we can. But first, we need to go and meet someone about something called Glad. Still didn't find a mushroom, though, did we? Right. Oh, hello. Commander, we're receiving a message from our friend, Agent Kessel. Hello, my friend. I'm happy to see you are still alive. This is kind of an urgent call. We have received some alarming info about the legacy. Seems there is more behind it as we hoped. Really? Uh, long story short, the Polaris Megacorp lost one of their capital vessels, the Ilmarinen. 
Nessel was exploring distant systems for the last few years. Its goal was to find new worlds and new resources. The company lost contact with the ship about half a year ago. They have found its trace, but because the Xerax patrols getting much more frequent in the months since your people's arrival, they are not able to officially investigate themselves. Now they are asking if we could lend them a hand. With we, you actually mean me, correct? Yeah, I knew you'd be volunteering to find out what was going on. The HQ has sent us the coordinates of a small vessel they had contact with. The Amaran crew is said to have had contact with a control station from where they managed the pilot of this vessel. But the transmission was suddenly lost. The pilot failed to arrive at the HQ. The control station could be found in the orbit of the CMOS, the barren planet in the system. Proceed with great caution. This might be the first time we might run into this menace after hundreds of years. It was said to have vanished. Sure. Okie dokie. Yay, another poster. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, we get another poster. That's fine. I will um, I'll go ahead and stick that on my ship straight away. There's a nice little trophy. Where do we stick it, though? Where do we put it? We put it in our corridor here? Oh, we need to turn the shields off. You can turn the shields off really easily just by hitting X. It is somewhat actually too easy to turn the shields off. Wait, did I just... Oops. <laughs> put it there. Wait, oh. Need a multi-tool to pick it up because technically it's a block or something. I accidentally put it down. Oh, God damn it. Get on my bar. We'll put it here. There we go. That's a nice one, actually. I like that one. It's good. Yeah. So anyway, right. Um. Yeah, we need to go investigate the El Marin and then, okay. Let's make myself some more sniper rounds while we make the journey over there. Because I'll go through them quite quickly, it would appear. That'll do. And you can turn off for now. Right. I could pick the garden, in theory. And that's spice, buds, wheat, and a couple of vegetables. Still waiting for the pumpkins to grow. Disconnect from that. And we can see what food we can make for ourselves now. Look at that. We can make dinos to royales. Or just the one, at least, anyway. We'll make a bunch of burgers after that. All good food. Right. Here we get that mushroom. Well, I suppose we could make a detour to a planet that has mushrooms and go and get one. But let's press on, shall we? So, Demos system. Uh, we've been there. That's where we got our resources from. So, let's go. Okay, we're in CMOS. Now, we know where, I know where to go. We need to go over there. That ship there is, is what we're after. But unfortunately, the, uh, the waypoint here is taking us to this minefield over here where we have to play more... Uh, shenanigans with teleporters again um, and then we just teleport back grab our ship and fly over there but uh, it's uh, humor it's for a little while shall we uh, right okay so I'm assuming the the mission will just go off on its own to ancient revelations yeah find the destroyed small vessel in the orbital sector of CMOS the barren planet in this system okie dokie should automatically activate when we get close to it. So, nine kilometers to go. Now, of course, the small vessel in question here is inside a minefield as well. So that's always fun. The, uh, the mines are pretty much spread out, so you can actually just fly straight in there. Just try not to get too close to one of them. Okay. Ancient Revelations, Chapter 5. Automatically turned my inertia uh, uh, back on. Okay, here we go. Droid small vessel among the minefield here. Oh, careful, you're in a minefield. Watch out. <laughs> we can now have a look at the controls here. Now, um, I forget what orientation it's at, but it doesn't matter because I've got my gravity turned off. Uh, that means that if the station has gravity, um, which it does, we'll... Um, Will you be, will be influenced by the station's gravity, not my ships. They won't be conflicting or fighting with each other. Here we go. There's an entrance. Well, this place looks healthy. <laughs> Reapy. All right, console. Error. This is good. This is station 034A minefield control hub. Punch the console. All right, code accepted. Please make your choice. Deactivate the minefield. Uh, error. Do you want to send the error information to service crew? Restart. There is an open application running. 
message 239. Close anyway. Show the message. This is a warning to the pilot approaching this station. Hold your distance, pick up this message, and relay it to the Polaris HQ. The Amaralyn is heading for this planet, but it is not under our control. We picked up something which killed the entire crew, taking control of the ship. We managed to survive long enough to find out uh, to find this station and send this recorded warning. But no doubt we are already dead. Do not search for survivors, but destroy the ship and this station as well with the strongest weapons you have. Do not leave even dust. Chief St. John was absolutely right from the beginning. We might have revived the dark times. May the galaxy forgive us. Cool. GG. You've just made things interesting, my friends. Don't worry about it. All right, now we do, 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 do a little bit of flip it do, 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 flip it uh, and then we can head over in the teleporter and then head back again immediately afterwards. Uh, <laughs> um, right, there's a couple more flip around here. There's a flip it um, I think that's it. I think that opens the, yeah, the door or something. There's a Healy station and a looty box. Lovely. Just making sure you got some guns and stuff before you go down into the dark depths of the world. All right, here we go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Earl Marinan. Yes, 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 yes. If you thought the uh, the radar station that we just came from was a tough POI, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, boy. Anyway, we're going to teleport back now. Yes, that was fun. Okay. There you go. Uh, let's jump into the Hammerhead. There she is. And let's just drive all the way over there. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Polaris Super Carrier, or Super Freighter, I should say. The Il Marinen. It's quite a beast of a build, I gotta say. Vermilion did a fantastic job on this ship. Uh, it is. It is a stunning build. I'll give him that. Okay, I'm actually going to park underneath the ship. Um, so experience tells me that the best Wi-Fi coverage throughout this POI so that you can continue to loot into the POI. <laughs> Never mind the camera coverage. The best Wi-Fi coverage is actually on the belly of the ship around about midway, I would say. So there, that should do it. In fact, we can probably nudge it forward a little bit um, to about that point. And we should get Wi-Fi being a strong word here throughout the ship there may be an issue on the bridge but other than that we should be right okay now we're gonna want um we got eva on normally i would be like ditch the eva but there are points in this ship that that are not pressurized you know what i'm gonna ditch the eva i think we'll be better off without it just the, the amount of damage my medium armor has taken my god Righty, right. We have got 500 bullets. Not good enough. It's not good enough. <laughs> you think you got enough bullets? You don't. Double it, triple it, quadruple it, mega duple it. Uh, sniper rounds, shotgun rounds. Okay. I'm tempted to take a laser rifle. Um, not that I think we'll actually get any more like laser weapons out there, but um, let's take. Where's the Wookiee gun? Uh, <laughs> the talent gun. <laughs> the Wookiee gun. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> There's no Wookiees on here, skate. Right, it is basically the it is basically Chewbacca's crossbow, let's be honest. <laughs> Let's not be around the bush here. It's basically Chewbacca's crossbow. Okay, we have to do, do a little bit of a run for it because uh, we don't have an EVA on and it's freezing out here. But so we just go through this hangar door here and we are back into atmosphere okay there we go lovely okay so we had 90 laser cells in there there's 40 shots in there and another 50 to reload with we got a bunch of containers to to use armor lockers and stuff so we could actually bring the eva with us and just swap it out there if we wanted to um we can flip this one <laughs> i love how the console flows up and then the switch blows up <laughs> fantastic okay there we go and we got a repair station there as well uh let me do that as the um a quick repair on the armor then what we do is take the armor off put it in our backpack use bring over here put it in there repair it take it back out right all the way back here take it out put it on back on again 
It's a wonderful process. <laughs> All right. Not allowed. Go around the back of the old uh, thingy here, and we can talk to this console. Computer system in safe mode. Press any key to review the automatically generated, generated logs. Press any key. Hazardous substance warning issued in container unit 3. Radiation levels uh, are elevated. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, yeah, console activated. Unregistered person out. Okay, cool. Uh, the super freighter El Marinin is under enforced quarantine due to hostile biocontaminants. Blast doors require two main authorizations. Both manual overrides must be pulled. Authorized Polaris personnel only. Of course, they don't actually put any checks on that. They just let you pull both switches. All right, we need to remember that door because we'll need to come back to that later. Cargo container maintenance. See? All righty. Oh, freaky deaky. I do love the El Marinin. It is such a freaky build. Everything is so like dark. I mean, it reminds me it's straight out of aliens, you know? This whole the corridors and darkness and stuff like that. I just to give you a kind of sense of the atmosphere. I turn my flashlight off. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's good. All right. Uh so we gotta go up to the bridge. All the way up. To the bridge. Here we go. What are you doing here? Uh, who's there? Join? Leave. Or... Uh, Ida, did you track that voice? My senses did not track any voices or sounds other than metallic noises or steel possibly different... Wait. Attention. I'm detecting movement on this level. I am absolutely sure that this was not there a moment ago. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. There are bad guys around, guys. There are bad guys everywhere. Let's reload. Bad guys all the... Well, I guess we're not going that way. I'll take your ration pack, though. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to need that in a minute. Oh. And I will... <laughs> I'll take another drill. <laughs> yeah, another drill. It's not a collection. It's looking good. All right, let's go around this way then. Seems as this is the way they want us to go. Here we go. Ooh. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, scary. There's one. Hmm. I didn't think they were allowed to spawn until I went up to the bridge, but uh, and now we know. Emergency exit. Not allowed. Oh. Ow. It's mean is what that is. It's shooting me through the block. I bet I can't shoot it through the block. Yeah, funny that. We got another one over there, yeah? Bingo. Okay. I will take that ration pack. And I will use it. It will heal me slightly. I will take those meds and shotgun shells and all those bits and bombs that you've so graciously given me. More meds. I feel like it's prepping me. <laughs> it's actually quite nice that it's prepping me. Um, anyway, here we go. Talk to the bridge console. Acting Captain's Log. Blah, blah, blah. We picked something bad up. It took over the ship. We all died. You get the general gist. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Now we got to press a button that causes all hell to break loose. Gosh, I mean, we really should clean this place up. We've got consoles have fallen over. It's terrible is what it is. Ah! You made your choice. Be welcome like all the others lower beings searching for freedom. Be joyful. Yeah, my mind, you son of a... Yeah, I'm tracking a lot of movement all of a sudden. We need to find a way to the core and destroy the ship if we can. Get to the staircase and go down to the main control deck on level 5. Luck and load. Hoorah. Hostile creatures detected. Code brown is in effect. Code brown is in effect.
Oh, crap. Whoopsie daisy. Hey, stop, stop changing height. That is illegal. So skittish, aren't they? Like trying to shoot something and dancing around all over the place is not easy. It is not easy to do. Uh, you can loot these things. You just get a lot of alien parts and 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 alien teeth and stuff. So I'm not even going to bother. Um, just so you're aware, I am aware. You can loot them, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Um, that goes outside. If you just want to run away, that goes out. Let's turn a flashlight on. That might help. Okay. I hear Xeraxian noises. Now, if this crossbow is as powerful as a sniper rifle, I think I don't. I'm, I'm not sure if that first shot was a headshot or not. If it was, and it only did half health, it might be better with a sniper rifle. I don't know. It's a tricky call to make. This thing's got a much larger ammunition um, capacity, which makes it a hell of a lot more forgiving if you fluff a shot. First shot was definitely a chest shot, so that one doesn't count. Minigun. Got to be checking around behind me a lot throughout this. Make sure I'm not being snuck upon, you know? Down we go. Oh, that was one shot in the head and it killed it. Okay, so this thing is as powerful as a sniper rifle. That's fantastic. Well, it might not be like exactly as powerful. It's powerful enough as the sniper rifle that we can one shot things in the head. Assuming we're good enough. Oh, shit. Okay, we've been lucky so far actually not getting any kind of cooties. It's a decent gun this actually. Well, that soldier over there in one hit. That was good. Laser rifle. Another drill. More meds. I'll take, I'll take. Bare pulse rifle. More rations. So I'm going to offload. Oh, I don't know. That's the wrong one. I'll offload into the hammerhead here. Got a bunch of, like, random bits and bobs. Generally, what I do is I'll just loot straight into um, the largest container and then I'll sort it out from, from there. Oh, Titan fragments. Alien crab meat. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think keeping... Keeping these on me... Probably a good idea. Just for now. In case I lose connection to the ship, you know? Ain't no class in the way. I think they're coming out the door, though. We'll set up an ambush. They've not come out the door. Uh. 
Cheeky bugger. Got the sneak on me there. There's another one. Yeah. It's nice. Doesn't have that um, recoil, you know? That the sniper rifle has. Oh, get that out of the way. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, f***ing hell. Great, yeah, perfect. Um, not even that way. He has that dickhead is on my backpack as well, yeah, he is. God. Oh my god, yeah. Wow, hit me straight away with a fever attack and alien parasite. That's fantastic, that is. I don't even know how to deal with fever it's fever attack. First aid kit. My god. Don't die. <laughs> Just don't die, guys. Just don't die, and you'll be fine. Christ. Sit down, you. Why can't I hit this soldier? Thank you. Right. Soldier's dead. Okay. Hopefully... That'll be the last time. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not even going to try and kid myself at the moment. Uh, I was going to say, hopefully the last time I'll, I'll die in this POI, but when the spawns are doing that, I think that... Uh, yeah. The, the desire to not die is... is not going to be achieved here. That planet coming up there scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. There is a way to activate the... There's a there's a, there's an assault robot in that crate down there. There is a way to activate it so that it works for you. First of all, though, some more uninvited guests. Security terminal. Hostile life forms detected in the rear hangar bay. Heavy assault. Mechanoid, not responsive. Ship defense AI has failed. Authentication handshake. Security system compromised. IFF has been disabled. Recommended action. Divert mechanoid security protocols to this console and initiate a hard reboot using the switch on the container. To initiate a hard reboot and divert security protocols, enter the code 6662 into the CPU's breaker switch and pull the switch down to lock the ship's defenses AI out of the mechanoid control system. To complete the reboot sequence, you must pull the manual override lever on the mechanoid container itself. End of message. Okay. 6662. So, pull this. 6662. Bingo. Alright. So now, I believe... Okay, that thing moves fast. We need to do a reload on this thing. I believe what we do is uh, do not pull the, the first switch that we were looking at. It releases the mechanoid. We do that, it basically undoes the uh, what we just did. So pulling that, not that we can at the moment, it's disabled. So that's good. We by pulling the switch on the on the um, CPU extension there, I think we've overridden that. If we pulled that first one, then it would just release the mechanoid and it would shoot shoot us. It would actually, I mean, based on last experience, it, it wouldn't even shoot the um. God, it wouldn't even shoot the legacy. Um, I don't know if that's still true because um, obviously Elion have done a lot of work in making sure that the AI shoot each other. So maybe it would shoot the legacy now, but anyway, we're going to try and get that thing on our side. Insulation control board, dish obstruction detected, running diagnostics, high pressure pipes ruptured. Ventilator intake jammed and requires clearing. 
full lever to unlock ventilation corridor level or maintenance crew. That's what we want to do. Come on. Go around the console. There we go. All right. Now we can go in here. Wait. Um, no, we don't need to go in here at all. What am I talking about? Now we have to go back on ourselves. Yeah, he came out of there. Now we have to go back on ourselves and downstairs. Another level, I believe. Okay, let's do another little quick offload here. So we go back down this corridor. And then I think we just go down. I think it's just one level down. Level four. Yep, here we go. This this door is now open. Oh, hello. A broken leg. A broken bone of some sort. There we go. Treated it. Bandages. We are those sneaky buggers sneaking up on me. Okay. Now we have to move fast here because those are XL thrusters. They're massive thrusters. And they're hot. Very hot. We don't want to loiter next to them. We'll incinerate ourselves. Jump up here. There we go. Even just a few seconds next to it and we're already... Already burning. Well, we're in the ventilation ducts now, and this is the uh, this is an area where it pays to look behind you every now and again. Things like to sneak up behind you in this place. Their footsteps, I can hear everywhere. Oh, I don't like it. Do not like it. There are also sentry guns down here. Oh, I'm so paranoid. What the hell? Whoa. <sighs> Any little bugs. Give that a reload. We're going to run out of laser rifle rounds on this thing. Oh my god. I just hear footsteps everywhere. It's freaking me out. Five rounds remaining. There's a red container down there. It would be nice to get that. But it will cook me in the process. <sighs> this is right next to those thrusters, look. So, um, best thing to do is just leave it and wait until um, after we blow the core up. And we should. Yeah, we're going to go back and get it by just turning it off. And then we won't cook ourselves. I have to switch those knives right here with only five rounds remaining in that. Uh, Dip, 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 dip. Yeah, I don't think they can get up here. <laughs> have I got any um have we got any more rifle rounds? Hit the ammo box. No. Container controller. I mean there's bullets and stuff in here, which is random. And check the other one as well. No, I don't believe I do. No rifle rounds. Okay. I mean, a minigun is not a bad shout at this point, right? I might use it. One. 
we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'll go for it. Right, because we have got some minigun rounds here. Not very many. But I can only swap back afterwards. Okay. Point is that um, a high rate of fire right now might be quite useful. Because here they come. Was that it? Betting like 13 or 14 of the buggers. Not two. <laughs> Wait, it's, um. Oh. Something changed? Something has changed. Used to be a hell of a lot more that would come marching around that corner. Maybe once again, I'm thinking you're reforged here. Oh, Jesus. Sneaky. Son of a. Oof. Okay. I'm alright. I don't know what just exploded, but I'm sure everything's fine. Yeah, shoot him through the glass. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the game cheeses me all the time. I don't see that as a problem, you know? If the dickhead's going to stick his arm out the door, then I'm going to kill him. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, see, now you've got to... You've just got to let... You've let everyone down now, haven't you? Especially yourself. <sighs> Alright. Now then. Before we go through there, let's go double check down here. Make sure we're not going to get knuck upon. Can actually sh uh, shoot through those gaps as well. So, worth a little check, I think. Alright. It's a bit um, gnarly, this bit, so... Yeah, you can already see them. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was... That was the... The rush I was expecting in the corridor previously well, was a little bit kind of like, what? what? Where are they? Yeah, I don't see any way to not get shot by this thing. There we go. There we go, there's the other one. Okay. So here we go, the ultimate test. We hit the switch on this thing. Does it kill us? I mean, it's released combat walkers. It is killing them. It is killing them. That's amazing. Is it killing me? Oh my God, how many of these guys are there? Hi. Not killing me. Not killing me. All right. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, they killed one of the walkers. Now, previously this exploded and a massive freaking mad cat looking mechanoid came out of here, but clearly Elyon have decided to downgrade to standard combat walkers. Which is a shame. But, you know, they clearly have their reasons. Alright, so we have a we have a friendly combat walker. Open that door there. Open this one. And nothing's coming out yet. We've got a few more rounds for our... 
Damn it, these things hurt, man. Oh, seriously? God, they shoot me. This tiny still hitbox. There we go. Shoot the feet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, loot. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's fantastic. Thank you, game. This is great. Yeah. Really, really fucking helpful. I can't do anything right now. Hey, um. Yeah. This is just fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> They're gonna load me up with freaking pathogens, and I can't get out of this freaking cock. Why has that happened? Yeah, it's relentless. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks, Mechanoid. GG. I hate this game. That is a whole lot of exceptions. Look, it's our favourite. Object reference not set to the instance of an object. Love it. Right, to prevent that from happening again, I'm going to tick, untick this open on exceptions tick box in the console here. Okay? So, we can just basically go, Yeah, I don't care about your exceptions. You, you just accept away, but don't interrupt my gameplay. Unfortunately, that is not on by default. So, there it is. Alright, where the hell did I die? I don't even see my backpack. Crazy. Alright. Oh, I hit F6, didn't I? There we go. There's my backpack. Whee! Oh, well, have my backpack, please. Thank you, game, for cheesing... Cheesing me off. I will cheese my way back in. F you and your physics. Alright, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Uh, normal now. Thank you. How are you? Right. Got some medical stuff here. Actually, you can use. Which is nice. Or, you know, you just do what I do when the game Fs you like that and cheat. I feel like it's only justified, you know? <laughs> bit of loot in here. And there's a little bit more loot at the end of this corridor as well. Go all the way, I think, to the end here. Um, then you can get down these little corridor and there we go. Got a bit of loot. I'm just going to shove that in the main one. I'll sort it out later. All right, let's move on. All right, we've got like a canteen thing. This is actually back in the main corridor where we first came into the ship. But there's a few fridges of things here, um, which is always nice to have a bit of food. Out. And there we go. We can we can get back out now. So I went in quite easy from this moment on. But in the next stage where we need to go... Is down the freight elevator. Use the freight elevator and go down to the freight deck. Level 2. Expect a lot of creatures down there. The amount of movement is massive. Make your way through the freight deck and find the warp control, warp core control rooms in the engine section. Well, there. well ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to wait until the next episode. Unfortunately, we've once again run out of time today. We're going to have to hold it here mid POI. But uh, yeah, join me next time. We'll finish this little beast of a POI off. Hopefully, without any more cocks showing up. But you never know. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I've shown you something new um, and helped you along your, your way. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.